Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hover zoom effect with jQuery and CSS. This video was inspired by a blog post by Matt Bango, which is available at the URL shown here. The hover zoom effect reverse zooms an image while fading in a label on top of it when the mouse hovers over it. It makes for a pretty slick effect, which could be used on thumbnails, for example. You can view the demo and grab the source at the URL shown here. To create the effect, we'll make a div that will be slightly smaller than the size of the image or thumbnail. We'll hide any overflow with the CSS overflow hidden property. The image will be the bottom layer, then on top of that we'll have the label. We'll default the label to be hidden with the CSS property of display none. Then, we we'll use jQuery to build the interactions of scaling the image down and fading in the overlay on top. Here's the HTML. For each thumbnail, we'll have a div with a class of viewport. Inside the div, we'll put a link with a label that sits on top of the image. The CSS is also very simple. The image is positioned with negative top and left values. This is done because when you scale the image, it scales from the bottom right corner. If we were to leave the image's origin at 0, 0, then when we scale the image, it doesn't have a zoom feel to it, since only two sides are moving. To fake it, we push the origin of the image up and to the left, out of the viewport. Now when we scale, we need to move the origin of the image to animate to 0, 0 to give us the zoom effect. Finally, here's the jQuery. We'll just add mouse enter and mouse leave events to the viewport. Once the mouse enters the viewport for each image, animate the background image to scale down to the viewport size and fade in the label on top of it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Matt for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web design and development.